Hi everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope everybody's doing well. Taste maker today. I like this game. I hope you guys do too. Let me know in the comments below what you think of it. I've had it for a while. It's one of those casual, relaxing, you set things up and then you let it run. You do have to run interference every now and then, especially with inventory items like food. And if you want to, you pay attention to that star and your bottom left there. That's your ratings from customers that come in. I tend not to want to care about that stuff, but I thought this time, you know what, I'm going to try. My biggest complaint from my customers is decorations. The food's good, the service is great but the place could use better decorations. And it's difficult to get up in, to have enough money to do what you really want to do. And I don't really know what to do anyway. So I figured I would give it a shot and see what happens. I'm not going to take you through that process. I already decorated. I own every single piece of the little block of land that you get. So I decorated the entrance. I moved the wall back one to decorate the front facade of the restaurant. I didn't go to the second floor though. My decoration rating actually improved. It went up. But you'll notice that I lost a ton of money doing that. But I had fun. It was interesting. They've made quite a few updates to this game and some of them were decorating items like that table there in the front I kept getting long queues so I added that table of four so the table and chairs are new but there's not a ton of new items however you'll notice Ollie walking around there it's a panther cat for heaven's sake he's so big when the game first started they had rat traps and you would just set it down, the rat would get smashed, there would be little spurts of blood, and then it was over. I guess enough overly sensitive people complained, so they gave us the cat, and the cat pounces the rat, and then it's actually a little bit creepier than a rat trap, because it looks like it's... I don't want to say it. The cat does something very strange to the rat and then the rat just vanishes. But I do like the cat roaming around. It's so big. Look how big that cat is. And I call him Ollie because when I started this particular file, that was the name they gave it. But then after I did this decorating and came back, it had a totally different name. Can't remember what it said. Tabby or something? I don't remember. And I didn't like that. I like Ollie. So I keep calling it Ollie. <laughs> My rating went up. The cues don't form as often. My disappointment is the kitchen. I keep thinking I have this set up for efficiency. And it's not. I also thought that... The cutting boards were where the waiters took the food from and went out into the restaurant. And apparently that isn't the case either. These chefs setting the food on the cabinet with a cutting board cabinet counter. But not all the time. And then the waiters will come into the kitchen anyway and take something right off of a stove or an oven. But the chefs are also taking the food out and one of the changes I noticed is that you cannot tweak your chef you can give him a different colored outfit but that's it so you can't tell him just cook so once in a while a chef will take a meal out into the restaurant I suppose that's okay depending on the class of restaurant you know the chef comes out. How are you like the meal? Did you enjoy everything? Are you being treated well? See it now another queue is forming there. 
And it looks like the kitchen is twice the size of the restaurant, which I didn't want it to be. But since I couldn't afford anything else, I left that back part closed off. I didn't want this big open space there. So eventually I open it up and I add, I think, three more tables. Sorry, it's so loud. Yeah, I think I, no, four more tables, but three chairs each. And that took care of the queue for a while, but believe me, the backups continue at intervals. But the, I think the worst part about me playing the game that I can never get right is the kitchen. I can never set it up so that it's efficient, and I can never keep track of the amount of food that's needed. I am getting a lot of new dishes, though, and that's fun. That, that was, I think, another update. I do not remember them serving alcohol, which they do now. They always served wine, but not alcohol. And now they serve wine and alcohol. They serve cake, cappuccino. That coffee machine is new. You can get coffee and then cappuccino, and I think there's a third one. I'm not quite sure what it is yet. I haven't unlocked it. What else was new? There was one more thing, but the coffee maker is kind of cool. There is a workstation for a hundred coins. I'm afraid to buy it because I don't know what it does. I'm going to have to look that up online. Or if you know, you're welcome to tell me in the comments because I'm not going to be making a ton of videos on this game. Because as I mentioned, it's a casual game. It's one of those games that you start up and then you just let it run. You can do other things while it's going. And then every once in a while you'll look up and you'll notice that they're getting low on food or there's a back of, of customers. One of the wait staff isn't pulling their weight or they're complaining that they don't have enough to do. You'll take care of it and then you can go back to whatever it was you were doing. And the background music, I have to say, is so pretty. I hope I don't get flagged for it. It is a part of the game, so it should be okay. But it's very pretty piano music in the background that I enjoy. It's very relaxing. But I think I at least conquered the poorly decorated aspect of the game. Because when you start out, you have one square, you get one fryer, one counter, a chef, and if you do happen to make quite a bit of money on french fries, you can hire a waiter or a cleaner. Actually, it would be both. And then you have to just wait until the money starts building up before you can do anything. Buying the extra land isn't all that cheap, but it isn't all that expensive either. It's 420 for each. Well, the tinier plots, I think, are 220 half, 210 I don't remember. So I figured out how to win at the decorating thing, but I have yet to figure out how to take care of that kitchen. It's driving me nuts. And then I went back and I did some more changes. I was going to show them in this video and the whole game just froze up on me and I could not do anything. I even uninstalled and reinstalled the game and it still, it just stutter, 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 stutter. So I had to get rid of this whole file and I have to start all over again, but I don't mind that. <laughs> I start this game over hundreds of times. It doesn't bother me at all. But I think I figured out an economical and efficient way to do the kitchen and I like to try that and then maybe make a video on that but this won't be an every single weekly thing or anything like that it's a cute little game I hope you enjoyed this as always I thank you so much for supporting my channel I hope you'll consider subscribing hitting the like button have a good day bye bye